Good evening and welcome to the Nevis Newscast. Today is Tuesday, 11th April 2017. I'm Fredicia Lybird. Earlier today, a delegation from the United Nations Educational, Scientific and Cultural Organization, UNESCO, paid a courtesy call on the Premier of Nevis, the Honorable Vance Amory. Premier Amory outlined the purpose of the visit. He came to meet with our committee for the um, historic um, Charlestown and we have now said Charlestown 2020 because we're looking to get uh, Charlestown um, as a, a heritage listed, world heritage site listed by 2020. It will take some, some considerable work but Dr. Doyle has been very helpful in, in, in assisting the committee to map its way forward and the progress which has to make to get um, this um, goal which we have set accomplished by 2020. His Excellency Dr. David P. Doyle is the ambassador and permanent delegate of St. Christopher and Nevis to UNESCO. Going forward, we are going to be looking to raise funding critically over the next couple of months to bring in to a number of experts who are going to work alongside us in helping us and mentoring us in terms of the, uh, the very substantive dossier we might need to put together between now and February uh, uh, 2019, potentially, uh, for a decision in uh, June uh, 2020. His Excellency Dr. Doyle also spoke about another area of interest, tourism. We are now reaching the fourth year in which we have a very, uh, very interesting group of French uh, golfers who come on a golf cruise here to Navis every year, every December, play golf for the four seasons. Uh, they come back with great enthusiasm every year. Um, this is a, a one of many uh, activities and initiatives that we undertake in order to raise the profile of Navis uh, as a destination, a tourism and a golf destination as well. So, uh, Premier, thank you again for receiving me and we look forward to further discussions going forward. Secretary General of UNESCO Antonio Maynard was also a part of the delegation. A courtesy call was also paid on the Deputy Premier and Minister of Tourism, the Honorable Mark Brantley. Residents of the island have been complaining about the water situation being experienced by householders and business persons alike. The situation has existed for a few months now when Bedrock Exploration and Development Technologies bid the company that is contractually responsible for supplying water to the Nevis Island Administration lost a water pump in the Madins area. Junior Minister of Works, Public Utilities, Natural Resources and the Environment is the Honorable Troy Liburd. What the Water Department has put into place is a system of rationing and rotating because what we have to do is at nights from about 10 until 4 a.m. we turn off certain areas, certain strategic areas to allow the reservoirs to fill or to accumulate water so that in the mornings when people are ready to go to work and so on that they would have water available. Over the past few months the Nevis Water Department has taken creative measures to ensure that most customers get water at some points during the day. So the Water Department is having to deal with the fact that they have lost a significant amount of um, supply we're dealing with the fact that it is the dry season and we have had to deal with the fact that for significant stretches the four season has been full and have been pulling quite a bit of water and that is what has been causing the shortfall that we have been experiencing. The current distribution system is called a gravity fed system where water is pumped to higher elevations and then allowed to supply consumers in the lower areas. So there are some areas that are closer to the, to the reservoirs and they are normal lower pressure areas. So when the volume or when the, the level of the tank drops, these areas that are normally um, lower pressure areas, they will also now start experience shortages. So these are the areas that would be um, experienced, they are the ones who would feel this loss of water the, the most. And so those are the areas that would 
be short on water before other areas. So if you're closer to the tank, the water has to make its way all the way down to the end of that system, and then the pipe starts filling up to come back up. So those areas experience the, the shortage um, first. Minister Leibert, however, noted that the ministry has been in constant consultation with BEAD and that the problems would be alleviated in a short space of time. Minister of Health in the Nevis Island Administration is the Honorable Mark Brantley. He was guest number four on the newly launched radio show Government at Work, which highlights the work the Nevis Island Administration has been doing. The Minister of Health spoke briefly about the improvements the health sector has seen recently. We have upgraded the maternity wing at the hospital. We had a maternity wing up there where we had leaks. We had it, it was not in a good condition. Upgraded it. Spent quite a bit of money. We had a problem where at a morgue, if people wanted to do autopsies and the like, that they had to go to the funeral homes, private funeral homes in Nevis. We said that had to end. We've upgraded our morgue facility as well at the hospital so that everything that needs to happen can happen there. We've completed repairs at the Charleston and Gingerland Health Center and we will shortly commence the expansion of the Brownhill Health Center to include environmental health offices. We have exposed our staff, our nurses in particular, to training in Israel, training in Taiwan, training wherever we can find it. Some have gone to Guyana, wherever we can find it. So we've trained officers in ophthalmic care, eye care, mass casualty management, maternal health, dialysis, that you hear so much about. We've actually started that process of training people. Brantley stated that he is proud of the work his ministry has been doing and singled out Permanent Secretary Nicole slack Libert for her tremendous work. Despite the work the health officials have been doing, Brantley says they have received numerous complaints about the health care on Nevis. People should remember that as minister, I'm not a doctor. I'm not a nurse. I don't work at the hospital. I don't work at the clinics. I am the minister but the professionals who work there. So when people go up to the hospital and something doesn't go quite right, they start to cuss and carry on, and, but they forget that these are the same professionals that are given your man service, day in, day out, 24 hours a day, are on call, leave their families at home to come and attend to people who are sick because we do not know the day nor the hour when we might fall ill. It might be 3 o'clock in the morning, 4 o'clock in the morning. And we are calling the doctor. Well, the doctor is a human as well. The doctor might be home with his or her family. They have to get up and come. An emergency, get up and come. And so I am not joining anybody in attacking our healthcare professionals. Can we do better in some cases? Absolutely. But I think in the main, we have dedicated professionals, and I will defend them if people seek to attack them because they work under difficult circumstances, and I believe they do a tremendous job that was the Minister of Health in the Nevis Island Administration, the Honorable Mark Brantley. Government at Work airs on Von Radio on Thursday evenings at 8 p.m. with a rebroadcast on Nevis Television on Sunday evenings at 8. Still to come, high praises for Commissioner Quealy from Local Businessman. The details are right after this break. As a responsible taxpayer, you help to finance free health care at all health centers on Nevis. Thank you for putting country above self. This message was brought to you by the Inland Revenue Department, Nevis. Be a responsible citizen. Welcome back. Commissioner of Police Ian Quealy came in for high praise last Wednesday by a local businessman for his efforts in helping to resolve an abduction and robbery situation involving a national of St. Kitts and Nevis who is currently living and training in Antigua. Popular photographer Leroy Willett of Willett's Photo Studios used Wednesday's press conference with Prime Minister Dr. the Honorable Timothy Harris to publicly thank Commissioner Quealy for aiding in the rescue of his daughter who, along with a friend, was pushed into a vehicle and robbed in the neighboring island. Willett extended heartfelt gratitude to the police commissioner, adding, I really want to say thank you to Commissioner Quealy. 
we hear a lot of negatives, but we don't hear the positives because he stayed on the phone and he made certain that my daughter and her friend were rescued. Prime Minister Dr. The Honorable Timothy Harris commended Willett for helping to shed light on some of the positive work of the police force. Prime Minister Harris, who also serves as Minister of National Security, said that Commissioner Quealy's role in resolving the crisis, coupled with the recent downward trend in homicides, bodes well for the direction in which the police force is heading, as it is indicative of the proactive stance of the nation's security forces. At the recently held Stop and Think rally hosted by the Ministry of National Security on St. Kitts and the Department of Education on Nevis, saw various primary and secondary schools on the island rallying from downtown Charlestown to the Grellhouse Stevens Netball Complex in a bid to stop crime. Principal Education Officer in the Ministry of Education, Palsy Wilkin, thanked Niels Chaitan for working with the students. Thank you so much for assisting us in continuing to work with our students getting that emotional and social intelligence in place our guidance counselors have been working tirelessly in our schools but with your motivation the way in which you interacted with our students, we recognize that you captivated their interest and you have implanted in their minds that stop and think before you proceed. Wilkin then implored the students to put into practice what they've learned. We recognize that government has gone beyond law enforcement and criminal justice to tackle the risk factors that cause crime by engaging our students in this stop and think social skills program. Students, we expect that we are going to see the fruits of Dr. Chaitan's labor, the work that he has put in we are pledging our support to make sure that you stop and think before you proceed. Principal Education Officer in the Department of Education, Palsy Wilkin. That's it for this edition of the Nevis Newscast. On behalf of all of us here at the Department of Information, I'm Fredisa Leibert. Thank you for viewing. Ooh, Wally. The Queen of the Caribbeans. Bathed by its crystal shores is the Caribbean's best kept secret. Nevis is known for its rich culture, which remains entrenched in the island's everyday life. We boast of having the Caribbean's greatest summer festival, Culturama. The birthplace of Alexander Hamilton, my little 36 square mile island, is the home of the Bath Hotel, which is the first built hotel in the Caribbean. Don't forget to take a dip in the therapeutic Bath Springs. Take a few minutes to trot down to the ever famous Sunshine's Bar and drink a world renowned killer bee. Live Nevis naturally by exploring the magnificent waterfalls and hiking to the top of our 32, 32 Nevis Peak. Our lush vegetation and landscape deems a visit here the perfect escape. Nevis, Queen of the Caribbean.